Happy homecoming, super STEM, and political pastries. All this and more as the Stafford Weekly News starts now. Welcome to the SMSD edition of the best of Stafford Weekly News. I'm Randall Williams. Let's start with our September 23rd show. The Stafford High School Spartans won their game that week, but that wasn't just a football game. It was part of a process called homecoming. Well, during, during the week of homecoming, it's a very busy time um, for us here at Stafford High School. Um, our students get into the um, festivities by uh, having different dress up days each day. Um, this year they, they chose a lot of uh, great themes that were, were fun for them and fun for staff. Um, everybody gets involved. Um, and in, in the district, the fun thing is, is that, you know, the middle school, the elementary school, um, the ECC, the STEM, they all get into it as well and participate uh, with us with their own themes. Um, this leads us into uh, our Thursday night um, community pep rally. Uh, very fun and exciting event for the community. This year um, we actually had a JV football game prior to that um, and it uh, allowed us to get more people in than we normally do. Um, you know, lots of people who were here for the game stayed and, and participated in that. Um, so the pep rally followed by the burning of the S, which is always a fun event for our students. Um, and great cooperation uh, between the school and staff and fire department. Um, leading into Friday, which is a very busy day, um, where we have our parade during the afternoon. Uh, this year we, we got rained on a little bit during the parade, um, but it was still fun for everybody. Um, and that led us into our, we go straight from the parade into our homecoming pep rally um, to celebrate the coming of the homecoming game on uh, Friday night. So when I was in school, we, um, we we had a bonfire actually out in the back of the of the complex back there. Um, it, it was a very fun event um, for us for the community. Um, that has been scaled down uh, over time. You know, as, you know, as the neighborhoods build up around us, um, you know, it became harder to do a, a full on bonfire. So that turned into the burning of the S, which has turned into, like I said, a, a fun and exciting tradition for for the students um, to, to celebrate the coming of, of the, the homecoming game. Homecoming is important, I think, for a lot of reasons for schools, um, especially in Texas. You know, in Texas we do things bigger with our, with our mums and uh, things like that. Um, but it's important for our current students to understand the, the history and tradition of Stafford High School and, and everybody that's come before them and not under, and being able to understand that that um, you know Stafford High School uh, is built on the people that came before them, uh, and it's important. And it's important at the game, you know, to, to mix those um, uh, groups together, the people that graduated previously versus the students that are here. Um, and again, in Stafford, you know, we we get a celebration with you know not just high school students, but you know middle school, elementary school students. We're we're all there together. Um, so it really helps our students understand that that Spartan pride runs deep and that um, the idea of Spartans forever, which is the first line of our school song, um, is is true, that, that we are Spartans forever. And um, it, it, it helps our students understand that, that, you know, we've been doing this for a long time and we're going to continue doing this for a long time. One critical definition of leadership is to influence, inspire, and help others become their best selves. One such leader was lost with the death of junior ROTC advisor, Colonel Thomas Ellinger. And John King attended a ceremony on November 18th at SMSD honoring him. Today here at Stafford, we had a wonderful Veterans Day uh, ceremony uh, across the way in the high school culinary area. 
we moved beyond from that and brought it over here for a dedication ceremony honoring Colonel uh, Thomas Ellinger, the former uh, senior Army instructor. I now have the opportunity to serve in the position that he held for 16 years here at Stafford, impacting lives and making a difference with our youth. Uh, no better way than our board and the superintendent of schools to come together uh, to hear the request of Mrs. Ellinger um, so that her husband's memory stays alive and is always honored as students pass through our high school halls. Colonel Ellinger uh, stood for a lot. He served in the United States Army, gave his all, 26 years and then coming and still serving, uh, doing what we call service is that rent that you pay for the space you occupy. He continued to serve and continued to give back in more ways than one. So that's why today is key and so important. The only thing I can think about right now is just complete gratitude. It shows that this school, this district, everything, they truly cared about what he did for this community um, and they were willing to give back to him. Um, he gave 16 years of his life for this school and I just could not be happier with how they're treating him and how they're honoring him today. It's not just about marching and wearing a uniform. It's about learning life skills. It's learning about how to buy a car, how to read a lease, how to move on with your life, how to dream. His students now, his graduates, high school teachers, Oseas Romero, Army officers, cadet at, the, at, the, at Annapolis, all of those are students that started out as freshmen or sophomores let ones, let twos, let threes at Stafford. That's his legacy, and I hope his legacy lives on for another hundred years. That's what it means, and that's what it means for my family. He started the junior ROTC program here 20 years ago, and the program we have today is because of the foundation he laid, and it's a tremendous program for our students. In the absence of leadership, take charge. The colonel was a leader, and he led by example. If other people didn't know how to do it, he'd lead you, he'd show you, he'd talk to you, he'd mentor you, and it didn't matter what your position was. The colonel was used to helping everyone. I had a personal relationship with the colonel. The colonel was a visionary. The colonel didn't just want to create uh, of, of soldiers. He wanted to create great citizens. He made it a personal pledge. He'd tell me he'd spend his time, his money, his efforts way outside of school just to make sure the kids here in Stafford could be productive citizens in the world and in the United States. The biggest thing I want to take away that he has done is continuing as the Army's JROTC motto is, is to motivate young people to be better citizens. That's the mission statement of this program. The program is leadership and excellence, but you've got to motivate them. You've got to keep them going. You've got to let them know the difference between right and wrong. You've got to instill in them those values, those things that make a difference, integrity, the character, all those parts that Colonel Ellinger embedded, those, those things are what I will also continue to move forward. Biggest thing, motivating young people to be better citizens. Jalen's Jersey, next. In Stafford, diversity is not just a number, it's who we are. When you are here, you become part of the story. You can sleep well knowing we're always on the job and looking out for you. It's a great place for growth and opportunity. Tradition starts here. We teach your children and we stick around for your grandchildren. We are one. We are Stafford. This is the city of Stafford and we are one. Remember getting an A in school and how happy and proud that made you? Schools also get graded. And SMSD's STEM Academy recently received an A of its own. John King attended the celebration on December 2nd. So today here at Stafford, we're having a celebration for our STEM Magnet Academy. 
we're celebrating that they received an A based on the Texas Education Accountability Rating. And so we wanted to reward them for all of um, our students for all of their hard work and our teachers. Um, it, it takes a lot to earn an A and so we felt like our students needed to be rewarded and ultimately our goal is for all of our schools to be um, A rated schools. It means a lot that our school has been open for just two years and to achieve a grade of an A. Um, it definitely means we're on the right track. We receive all of the distinctions um, that we can actually earn. So we're, we're very happy. So we just want to continue to progress um, and make sure that uh, we stay on that same path. When I received the news, it was last year, almost at the end of a year, the end of a sem semester, and we have a preliminary, um, preliminary scores. At the time, we were um, we expected to rate it as an A, but we were not sure. We were waiting for the TA to make an announcement. And once the TA made an announcement, we were so happy, we were very happy. We felt all the parents and students and teachers of hard work, um, you know, it, it was worth it. Well, all the hard work and days and nights and weekends um, working with our students. I'm so happy that we have the chance to celebrate our students' A rating school. Um, I'm so proud of our students, they work so hard. I'm very proud of our teachers and I'm very appreciative about the parents' support, the district support, and the entire Stafford City's support. We are so honored in here at the school to get so many support. Um, and we are so happy with our students' performance this year. I am very touched that um, I opened the school last year and with a lot of support from the district. Um, of course, there are some challenges in um, opening a new school, but with all the support from the district, from the city, and we are able to make it um, to the A school, I'm very proud and very happy, and I'm very touched for all the support we have received. In terms of the vision for the district, it's, it's right on target for, uh, of course, the plan to create this school occurred several years ago, and to see it come to fruition and see our students be successful is uh, totally satisfying um, for our district and community. We're just glad that um, our community and our parents have had the confidence in us and allowing us to open this, this school. And so we're just uh, glad that out the door that it's already showing great signs of success. So we're just glad to be here with our students today to celebrate with them. Stafford High School graduate Jalen Petrie is already racking up stats in his first season with the Houston Texans. John King visited SMSD on October 21st for the retirement of his jersey. This moment is, is a big moment for me and my family, you know, all the hard work that we put in up to this point um, and to say that my jersey is getting retired tonight is, is, is big for us. You know, I'm very thankful that Stafford chose me and um, yeah, I'm, it, it's an exciting moment for me and my family. No, I feel like it's right on time, you know. Uh, I don't try to worry about all of that. When they called me and told me that it was gonna happen, you know, I was, I was very excited and you know, like I said, I'm thankful for it. It just shows that hard work pays off. You know, I want to be um, a, a role model for the younger guys coming up and show them that they can do it and they can eventually get their number retired. You know, um, all it takes is hard work and dedication and, you know, perseverance, being able to push through the hard times. So, you know, I just want to be a role model for the younger kids coming up in Stafford just to show them that they can do it as well. Today, you know, it's a big moment for Jalen Petrie, you know, and I feel like it was a great day to show how, you know, come out and support him because, you know, he deserved it. We went to high school together, you know, we grew up playing Little League together, you know, from the Stafford Cobras to the SYBA, you know, so 
We grew up and then eventually I transferred into high school here and we played together on the same football team, so it's cool. You know, it's a great moment for him. You know, it's an honor, you know. He deserves it, like I said, you know, just growing up from Stafford, you know, and being loyal to, the, you know, city, you know, he deserves it. Like, you know, playing for Houston, you know, it's a big accomplishment. You know, getting drafted from Baylor, and I think, you know, he deserves it well. Stafford, to me, you know, you know, it's a family. So, like, you know, I grew up here since I was a little kid, and, you know, everyone in the community has always had each other's back, you know. You can go to your neighbor for something, or you can go to someone in the community, and you know they're always going to help you. It's a, you know, it's a big accomplishment, a big, you know, family thing here at Stafford, Texas, and uh, just glad to see everybody come together for a big accomplishment for my brother Jalen, and it's just, it's just a blessing, man. At the end of the day, we just got to thank God for all this, you know, great things that's going on here. Convention next. You can try, but you won't find another city like Stafford, Texas. Serving our community just like you like it. Taking care of you and your home since 1945. We believe in STEM to learn and STEM to earn. We're heading into college certified and career ready. As a former student of Stafford, I take pride in keeping our classroom safe. We are Stafford, we are one. On election day, November 8th, many important questions were answered, but it fell to SMSD's early childhood center to answer the most important question of all. Which is better, chocolate chip or Oreo? Parents, teachers uh, throughout last week leading up to today have been talking to the boys and girls about what it means to vote and the importance of voting. And so to help our students understand that even better, we have cookie elections today. It's the Great American Cookie Election. And boys and girls, your vote is so important because the winning cookie your vote will decide the winning cookie that the entire school gets to eat at the end of the day. Now, just like your parents, in order to make the right vote, you have to know about the candidates. So first up, candidate Oreo, come on down. <laughs> so candidate Oreo, what makes you the best choice? I'm the best cookie in the world. Oreos taste the best. You can break it open, you can eat the cream inside, and I'm the only cookie that can dance. <laughs> <laughs> and what goes great with the Oreo cookie? Milk. That's right. You can dip it. Regular white milk. Come on down, candidate Woo! white milk. Woo! Candidate 
white milk. What makes you the best choice? I'm the best choice because white milk has no added sugar like chocolate milk. You can dip your Oreo cookie in meat or you could just drop it in a glass of milk and have it nice and soft. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, and raise your hand if you love cereal. Ooh. I do. You can pour a glass of, I mean, a bowl of cereal and milk together and it tastes delicious. And raise your hand if you love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Next up, we have candidate chocolate chip cookies. Okay, candidate chocolate chip cookie, what would make you the best choice? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Everyone knows chocolate chip is their favorite. You can have me crunchy or chewy, and everyone knows when you eat Oreo, you open it up, eat the middle, and throw away the rest. <laughs> so vote for chocolate chip. Good job. And what to go with chocolate chip cookie? Nothing better. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Ooh. What would make you the best choice? Well, chocolate milk is better because it tastes better than just regular milk. Honestly, chocolate milk is really regular milk mixed with chocolate. And raise your hand if you like Halloween candy. Yeah, Halloween candy is chocolate. And I know everybody who gives out Halloween candy. Oh! Now, candidates, can you show the boys and girls where they will be voting? In their very own ballot box! Awesome job, boys and girls. Let's give all of our candidates a round of applause. We started with homecoming, let's end with homecoming. When another annual SMSD event that had little to do with football transpired. John King was there to bring on the cute. We are celebrating the end of the six weeks, and it's also homecoming week, um, so we have uh, dual functions going on um, throughout the year this year because our theme is Stafford Early Childhood Center, a magical place to be. So each month we have Disney dress up days and just so happened today being the end of the six weeks and it's Disney dress up day, it's also homecoming. So we decided to just go ahead and, and um, keep the dress up day and do it in conjunction with homecoming and say that we're spreading a little magic around uh, for our uh, football team to be able to defeat the Mustangs. It's important, especially at this age level, um, we have pre-K three, pre-K four, and kinder, so three, four, and five-year-olds. And so it's about creating that joy and love of learning and being in school. And so when uh, students see that they can have fun learning and have fun being in school as well, um, then that promotes them to, or encourages them to want to um, do better and, and work harder and, and come to school every day and be here and know that they can have fun and still learn at the same time. When I see students coming in in their princess costumes or um, prince costumes, it, it warms my heart because um, I know that the parents are also engaged and participating because they dress them up. And so it just lets me know that, you know, we have that homeschool connection and that there's participation and that um, the families are buying in to what we are trying to share and, and convey over. And I just get a kick out of seeing the kids and they look so excited. and, and that and again, it gives them an opportunity to um, be their little individual selves and, and just have fun for a little bit. Each year has been a different theme. Um, last year, we were uh, wild about learning, so it was uh, going on an adventure and more like um, animal theme. And so, yes, this year, it's a magical place to be. Our ultimate goal here at um, Stafford Early Childhood Center is, of course, to prepare students um, to be ready uh, for elementary school for first grade. We want to build their executive functioning skills, help them um, to develop. Uh, we focus on whole child development, which um, that entails um, identifying their talents and um, their little hidden skills and, and helping them grow and develop emotionally, socially, physically, as well as academically. So when we have themes like this and we, when we have dress up days, um, 
it not only provides an opportunity um, for community involvement and, and for students to have fun, it also helps them to see that, you know, hey, we can be different, but, but still um, embrace one another. Um, they, we teach them about how to accept differences and how to uh, interact and respond to one another. Um, you know, just kind of thinking outside the box and just giving them different experiences and exposing them to different things. So ultimately, it's just about helping them to grow emotionally and socially. Uh, it builds interaction uh, with one another because when they see each other in their different costumes, uh, they're complimenting one another and it gives them talking points so we're building language um, so you know it's it's not just just to be dressing up and just to be doing something fun there are hidden skills underneath all of those layers that that we are building well, i am the queen from snow white some people uh say uh maleficent or um it, it could be any any of those evil queens <laughs> Uh, of the one from Snow White, but, you know, I feel it's important that um, I engage and, and I um, participate in the activities as well, and the kids and the teachers get a kick out of seeing, seeing me do it as well, and I'm a kid at heart. It's fun for me, too, and, um, again, it gives an opportunity to talk about the stories, to, because when the kids ask, then we talk about Snow White. We talk about the story of Sleeping, of Sleeping Beauty, and that's part of the pre-K curriculum um, with um, fairy tales and fables and all of that. So um, it, it just gives us an opportunity to elaborate on that a little bit more and um, bring it to life. It's all about bringing the learning to life for the children. That's a wrap on our best of Stafford Weekly News for now. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be back soon with our regular season. For everyone here at Stafford Weekly News, I'm Randall Williams. May all your news be good news. This program was produced on the Stafford campus of Houston Community College.